Here at Firebase, we want to help you build apps and games that users love. Whether you're working on releasing your first creation of the world, or your app is already a global sensation with millions of users. Today, app development is quite complex, requiring you to jump between different tools and APIs and support many different platforms. That's why we're strengthening Firebase's integration with Google's most popular developer products and making our platform work better with the open developer ecosystem. Like our latest addition to Firebase extensions called Extension Events. Firebase extensions are a great way for quickly adding features and functionality to your app with little to no code. But extensions had some limitations, like not being able to customize them to suit your unique business use cases. Well, now you can. Extensions events allows you to plug in into the extensions runtime and take action on generated events as they occur. We've also launched new extensions for marketing and payment processing in partnership with Snap, Stream, TypeSense, and RevenueCat. And to help you test your extensions in a safe local environment, we've added full support for extensions in the Firebase emulator suite. Now, when it comes to web development, we know how important it is to use modern web frameworks like React, Next.js, Angular, Vue, and more to build visually compelling apps that are performant and scalable. But we've heard your feedback that deploying such apps with Firebase required some work on your part, and we wanted to make this experience better. That's why we've introduced a number of improvements in Firebase hosting and the Firebase CLI to help deploy your modern web apps with Firebase quicker than ever before. Now in a developer preview, you can deploy your Firebase-powered web app built using Next.js or Angular Universal with a single Firebase deploy command. We take care of the rest. But the web isn't the only platform you're building for. You might also be building for Android, iOS, and other desktop and embedded devices. And developing for all these platforms is hard. That's why many developers use Flutter to create beautiful, natively compiled, multi-platform apps from a single code base. Now, Firebase and Flutter work better together. All of our Firebase plugins for Flutter have moved to general availability. We've also made it easier to debug your Flutter apps using Firebase Crashlytics with three big updates. First, we've greatly reduced the number of steps it takes to get started and no longer require you to use any platform-specific IDEs. Next, Flutter app crashes are now reported to Crashlytics on demand so you can find out about them before most of your users do. And lastly, we've revamped our backend crash analyzer to group Flutter crashes by common characteristics, making it easier for you to better understand the types of crashes affecting your app and prioritizing which ones to fix first. And for you Apple developers out there, if you use the Swift programming language, we've got some exciting news. We've updated our Firebase SDKs to fully embrace the modern Swift language, so you can use all your favorite Swift features as you develop your app with Firebase. Now, no matter what platform you're developing for, it's important to keep your users and your services secure. To do just that, we're happy to announce that AppCheck has now graduated from beta to general availability, and now also integrates with the Play Integrity API, the new app attestation provider for Android. Firebase app distribution also just graduated to general availability, with features like simplified group access, release auto-deletion, and bulk tester management in both the Firebase console and our new public API. Also, we've updated our Android SDK, so you can notify your testers directly inside your app when new testing builds are available. Now, just as important as making sure your app is well tested, is making sure it's running fast and smooth. Firebase performance monitoring can help you do just that. And our recently launched real-time alerts have graduated from beta to general availability, as part of this update, we've added new real-time alerts for custom code traces, network requests, screen renderings, and web traces, so you can know about any performance issues as soon as they arise. But despite your best efforts, performance issues and bugs can sometimes still pop up. Firebase Crashlytics helps you track and fix these bugs as they get introduced. But jumping between stack traces in the console and your IDE, and then back again to debug that tricky line of code can be tiresome. So we've made that experience better by integrating Firebase Crashlytics directly into Android Studio. So the next time your app has a bug, you can easily locate and resolve it, all while continuing to code in your IDE. But we're not done yet. We've also integrated Crashlytics with Google Play Tracks. So if you use Play Tracks to manage releases, like say your beta or production track, 
Now you can easily filter Crashlytics reports based on those play tracks to see how the release is doing and prioritize and fix any crashes when you need to. And that wraps it up for what's new in Firebase IO this year, but there'll be more to come. Follow us on Twitter, our YouTube channel, or our new Firebase blog to stay updated on all the latest Firebase features. Now get out there and build something great.